The average full burial funeral in America costs around $7,000, but that number can end up being much higher if you don't understand your options. While funeral parlors are businesses that need to turn a profit to survive, they've also been known to use some pretty shady tricks to squeeze extra cash out of their grieving clients. The moment you walk into a funeral home, funeral directors are sizing you up to see what they can get away with selling you. And those somber looking helpers in the back are listening to your conversations to determine which of your grieving family members is the weakest because the most vulnerable people are more likely to make the worst financial decisions. Some places even offer a grief counselor, which sounds nice, but it's probably just a salesperson who's prepared to use your grief against you and guilt you into spending more. These counselors even have professional training courses like upselling without upsetting the client, a class that helps them learn how to push you up to 20% over your budget by convincing you to buy excessive things like doves at the memorial or luxury cars for the procession. A great way to avoid this and other scams is to bring along a level-headed friend who can help you stay objective. It is common practice for funeral homes to list services without displaying their prices or to bundle multiple options into packages so that you won't know what the true cost is. And by the time the final bill arrives, most people just pay out of embarrassment and guilt. Those seemingly attractive package deals often include a lot of stuff you don't need, but in your weakened emotional condition, you might fail to question these things and end up paying more than you need to. Just know that, as a consumer, you have the right to demand a full price list, including an itemized breakdown of any and all package deals. Another reason funerals can be so expensive is people don't usually shop around to find the best deal the way they would with any other major purchase. In fact, studies show people tend to buy one of the first three caskets they look at. So naturally, funeral directors put the most expensive models up front with the best lighting, while the cheaper options are shoved into the back shadows or even the basement. Even if you get to see those less expensive models, they're often deliberately painted with ugly colors to discourage you from choosing them. Fortunately, you are legally entitled to ask for a catalog showing all available models and finishes. You can also buy the casket on your own, and funeral homes are legally bound to honor that choice. Parlors might also steer you towards buying a waterproof casket to better preserve your loved one. These feature nothing more than a rubber gasket that costs about $20, but raises your final price by up to $700. On top of that, while they do keep out water, they also trap in the gases and liquids of natural decomposition to the point that it might even cause a posthumous casket explosion. Speaking of preserving bodies, one of the biggest money makers for funeral homes is embalming. Today, funeral homes often insist that it's a health requirement and most people just go along with it, but it's totally unnecessary in most cases. Federal guidelines only require embalming if you're transporting the body across state lines or if the wake or viewing is scheduled for three or more days after a person has passed away, in which case refrigeration is a perfectly safe and cheaper alternative. Some funeral parlors also try to entice customers by offering prepaid packages so your loved ones won't have to worry about arrangements after you've gone. But these agreements are loosely regulated and offer few guarantees. Those funds may not be transferable in the event that you pass away out of state, and funeral homes may also try to charge you for inflation later on, even though data from Department of Labor show that funeral costs have vastly exceeded inflation for decades. Ultimately, the best thing you can do is stay informed and know your rights because Federal Trade Commission investigations have found that one in four funeral homes violates them in some way. While it can be pretty unsettling to confront the specter of your mortality, taking the time to understand your options will save you and your family the extra grief of getting buried in debt down the road.